Hey gamers, Stogie here, and what the hell is this? <laughs> I got a little something different for you guys today. This is Castle Crashers, and I'm going to be showing you two other games in this clip, but uh, I wanted to bring you guys this video because I have having some, I've been having some fun lately doing some different stuff, and you guys know, this, I, maybe you don't know, the Steam Summer Sale was just on, and there was some amazing deals on Steam, man. Steam is a, it's a fantastic interface for chatting with your friends, buying games, playing games. I really, really like it, but one of the games I got was Castle Crashers, and I bought it for uh, a couple of my friends, too. It's really, really neat side-scroller. Um, I really like it. All of the animations are hand-drawn. Super cool. Uh, but that's not why I was making this video, per se. What I really want to show you guys was, and you may know this already, I run Mac equipment, so I have a MacBook Pro and an iMac, um, and I've always had a problem with screen capping on my Mac. The Elgato um, doesn't work on the Max because there's no HDMI out. There's a there's a mini display port which you can convert to HDMI and send it out, but the Elgato will not read the format. I've never been able to find a screen capping thing that was free that didn't work very well. And the software I'm using in this in this instance worked awesome. This recorded at 30 frames per second at 720p. I was I think it was 1280 by 720p. I was playing at. And look how clear this looks. This is crisp, man. I would go so far as to say it looks better than my Elgato stuff. So this was me playing on the Mac, on my iMac, recording just with a, a little window. It was really neat. You can record in full screen. You can record a window that you just want to drag. You say you want to drag just a small window and record what's inside that window. You can do that. Program worked flawlessly. You can record the video, uh, the audio on a separate channel, and then you can plug a mic in and record like like a live commentary over on another audio. So it's it's really really flexible and awesome. It's supposed to be a seventy dollar program, but I downloaded it and it worked for free. Here you can, and I'll put a link in the description. Here you can see some Dota two, and I just wanted to show maybe a more complicated game than Castle Crashers, so you could see that even the more complicated games at 30 frames per second it was recording no problem whatsoever man it no lag whatsoever either it was really awesome and right now I'm on Mac another reason I want to make this video is because um, I've told you guys that I w I'm a little torn on Xbox one and the future but I really want to play um, Titanfall so I've been exploring building my own PC and in the description I'm gonna put a link to a PC that I've designed with the help of the guys from Digital Warfare 24-7. They le uh, led me on to this awesome site, PCPartPicker.com, where you can make amazing PCs, and it's really cool the way the parts work, but just click on my link and I'll take you there and you can see the PC I built, but I'm thinking about building a PC maybe around the end of the year, so I was kind of getting Steam ready with some games, trying some stuff out, trying it out on, on the YouTubes. Um, kind of getting excited for that so that's that's another reason I want to make this video and the last reason was just to kind of show you guys these games and tell you about the Steam Summer Sale and how awesome it was so this game right here is actually Counter-Strike um, Global Offensive CSGO a lot of people play this game online and on YouTube it's a great game it's a lot of fun but again look at this 30 frames per second and 720p look how fluid it is it's just awesome so I am going to in the description put a link to the PC that I've designed, I'm going to put a link to Steam if you guys don't know what Steam is, so you can go check it out. And I'm going to put a link to the recording software that I downloaded. Basically, it was supposed to be a $70 program, but it ended up being free because I had OS X 10.7.2 or something or later. It says in the upper right hand corner, you'll see. Um, but I just downloaded it, started running it, got used to it, and it was awesome. So. If you guys have any questions or you're looking to record on Mac, because I know it's a lot, it's a lot more difficult and a lot weirder than recording on a PC, uh, leave the, leave your questions in the comments below, and I'll take a look at them. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will talk to you later.